That's backfired as well, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. I'm not, I'm no, not I, I, you. I, I love the fact that you're, that you're like that sure of it, do you know what I mean? That's great. I think it's just because yeah. I'm probably a, a complete coward. But it, the, I'd think, you know what, I had a steady job and now... I'm, I thought about it for ages, you know what I mean, and, and it was just one of those things, it's like um, the company I was working for were good in terms of understanding it and had a bit of a longer notice period and things like that, so yeah. you know, we had enough time to plan it and then just got loads of gigs and, you know, cover gigs and stuff like that to help pay the bills. And then so, you, so, yeah, so you're doing covers go, you know? to pay the bills, but you're kind yeah. of weeding that out and doing, we've done, you know, originals here, so. Yeah, definitely, yeah, I mean, you can only do it for so long playing other people's material and it just gets a bit boring, so. Just decided to, uh, you know, sort of in the in the process at the minute of developing my own stuff and getting out there as a, an artist on my own merit, basically. Well, that's wicked. And the whole thing that we've got here at the band is, because um, we were talking earlier about um, how the music industry does have a, a, a real dig with age. Yeah. But you get to a certain age, you know, if you're past 25, even as a front man, it's like... So yeah, you've had it. You've had it. No chance. But you're... Did you say 16? <laughs> yeah, it probably is about that. Right. But, um, but you're here you know 41 banging it out and that's that's wicked so you, but yeah. you're recording as well yeah at the moment it's just sort of uh, finishing off the songs and and developing them as best I can to, you know so they get to the sort of right level really where you know they're ready for recording so I'm looking to do some early January and then uh, sort of get out there as much as possible and gig and just see what happens you know you've um you list your influences as kind of Guns N' Roses the boss I've got written down that's just me being lazy Bruce Springsteen yeah um <laughs> So you're recording, because you played acoustic here, are you going to be recording acoustic or recording with a band and making it a bit more like um, a I'd probably record acoustic, I mean it's probably one of the challenges I've got because really I'm a sort of rock artist and you know, bands like Alice in Chains and Skid Row and yeah. all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what I've grown up listening to and that's who I'm really influenced by and I'm sort of making that transition over to an acoustic artist, it's, it's hard sometimes because you know, I sort of tend to batter the guitar and things like that and I'm just sort of trying to, you know, hone my craft a little bit and basically take it out there. So, yeah, I'll probably record something acoustic, but eventually I'd like to do something electric, yeah, and see what Excellent. happens, yeah. Well, everyone enjoyed it. Um, yeah, cheers, man. Um, Woo! Woo! Yeah! 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 I feel like an American, there's so much woo wooing going on. If people want to listen to your music or catch you at a gig or just generally stalk you, how can they do that? JohnReynoldsMusic.co.uk There we go, JohnReynoldsMusic.co.uk um, Thank you very much. Um, we move on now. Can I just say one thing? Go on. You need three ducks on the wall. Uh, do you know what? You do. You've got to have them, man. I You've took a photo of the set, and that's yeah. exactly what my mate said. He said really? you need three ducks. We've got a fish. No, you need the ducks, man. Coronation Street style. Can we get onto that? Yeah. Got all yeah. it done. Make a note, right? On to our second comedian, the very talented Emma Packer. Amy Jones, that's my name, you get me. My ends is Windsor. Berkshire born and bred, the sickest place you will ever tread. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I haven't seen a queen. But I hear she's a rude girl still with a bling, and some say she's a fiend. Documentaries report she killed a princess da, but got off by telling bare lie. I don't know what's the truth, but as usual, government is good at concealing the proof. That said, crown and country is really not what I stand for. I like Robin Hood, he took from the rich to feed the poor. Robin in the hood is a different ball game. And if you make the rules, you can avoid the blame. Cheating benefits has consequences. Cheat the system and up your expenses. Riot is looting from Marks and Spencers. Bankers looting our money from cash dispensers. But they can all watch themselves on their brand new plasmas. I've been to school, yeah, what? Wanted to learn since in a cot. David Cameron, the Prime Minister. But to me, he's rather sinister. G20 summer, an innocent man dies. Hard evidence gone missing, police tell a whole pack of lies. The definition of political shouldn't be hypocritical. People lost faith in the way this country is run. Some brainwashed by the criminals that run the sun. Criminals commit crimes, hackers conflict crimes. Murder is in the dock, most lethal Murdoch. Food, health and education is a God-given right. Oh, come on, Ames. This is a comedy night. I'm not here to give you a fright, but to tell you of my plight. Well, actually, it's more of a tale of which the subjects may. Oh, how you doing, bruv, yeah? It started with my headmaster and at Sunday school, the pastor. History with Mr. Moore in year seven. Bruv, I died and gone to heaven. His tweed coat would float my boat and his faded brown corduroys, 
Mr. Moore, class above the boys. Then there was my doctor, Dr. Fayad. He short back and sides, drove me mad. I told him I had heartache. He said, no, Amy, you're 14. It's a mistake. I started lusting over my mum's hairdresser. He was really trim. Excuse the pun, but it had to be done. I think it was his cravat that did it. When he ran his hands through my hair, I became a complete Bridget. Jones, pull yourself together and stop talking to him about the weather. I found out he was gay, but that's okay. Just meant I couldn't get my wicked way. <laughs> then I started to have celebrity crushes. Alan Titchmarsh, if only he had a moustache. Michael Caine drove me insane. Simon Cowell mm, in a tight white towel. John Cleese, I bet he's a real tease. Then this man appeared before my eyes. I heard about him before, but his looks were a complete surprise. He was a silver fox who distracted me from my mocks. Tall and handsome with a tash. It was then I realised this man had class. He could dance, he could sing, was a proper comedian. Don't care about them other judges. I gave him a 10. So, Bruce Forsyth, you are the love of my life. I swear down, bruv. Amy asked me to come and talk to you tonight. Said I was young and very bright. I said I'd make it fun and make it political. She said make it fun and make it satirical. People's TV said I could get famous after this. I said, bruv, swear down, are you taking the piss? All I ever wanted to be was a political activist. But then I thought, Ames, use your loaf. Bread is cheap. Stop being an oaf. This way you can kill two birds with one stone and help pay off your student loan. You can use your fame to help raise your game, to get to talk to the top at the top and tell him all this bull has to stop. But it ain't about that tonight. It's comedy on the TV. I better get to the point my dad's watching, see? So I know some of you lot are in the industry, which is wicked because you hold the key. I'm in a state of desperation. But this can be solved by six degrees of separation. What I'm getting at here is to holler at your peers. Morgan will do. He's probably known him for years. Are you listening, yeah? Tell Brucey. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> I said, are you listening, yeah? yeah? Good. Tell Brucey and you out there, I'm on Facebook. And to look me up, his wife better watch out. I hear they don't got a prenup. I've been Amy Jones and you've been boring. <laughs> Cheaper than fiction
Kicking off part three, that was Tree of Wolves. At Ye Boy High Guy uh, makes a rather valid point here. Maybe there is no Irish accent, it's just brain damage due to alcohol abuse. I never consider that, but oh, maybe it's on something. At Farrah Moffat asks, can you please take a selfie without having your tits hanging out? Uh, no. Uh, they're per, and I could probably get a cock in that, actually. Um, <laughs> here's Basement Project.